It's your girl, Mick Yee, 360 Radio, Connected Radio, the Yee Aries. So we're in the building, and we're feeling like Yee. It is a Monday night. Um, we ha- we just got out of the interview with Fully Holographic and Wordplay, a uh, super dope interview. But now we're in here with Good Life Entertainment. And I have the – when I first met them, I actually met them at the um, West Coast. It was uh, Bosses of the Bay Tour. So I was in there with Maul. And uh, I'm I saw B Mike there, so I you know I've known him for a while, and I I walked over to him to say hi, and then he was like, let me introduce you to my artists, and that is when he introduced me to the the following people, which is who you're gonna you guys are gonna hear today. So that is let's introduce yourself. Where who are you and where are you from? I'm Deco D. I'm from Frisco. Okay. Filmo District. Yeah, Filmo in the building, okay? And then um, AP, what about you? My name is AP. He's from the block, and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, 502. Okay, Louisville. You know who I listen to from out there a lot is Bryson. Yes. uh, Tiller. Yes, Mm -hmm. definitely a favorite of mine. So we're going to go live here for the listeners. So let's get some background on you guys. How did you two meet initially? Are you a group? Are you um, like is this individual artists? I know I when I saw you it was a group. Uh, well, you was wrapped yeah, together. Yeah, we we a group. Mm-hmm. Uh, we met in Kansas City, Missouri, where I was born. Okay, <laughs> KCMO eight one six to show me, and um, you know, we was in the game and things, and uh, you know, we we hooked up and everything, and uh, keep a long story short, you know, we've been together rocking 20 since. some years since. okay dope mm-hmm. and then uh I, when i the songs that i heard when i saw you guys perform um you they both had vocals but you had some you were a singer yes ma'am oh i love mm-hmm. that part thank you that's what the rap game is missing is it used to be about rapping and singing in the same song and it somehow has gotten away from that so i'm glad that that's happening i'm glad you're doing that because it sounded great thank you um and mm-hmm. as far thank as like you do you Let's talk about what you have out so far. So how many albums would you say you have out for purchase right now? Well, for purchase right now, I I would say I have three albums. Okay. That's Deco D, The Soul Taker uh, EP I did in 1995. Oh, yeah. Um, You're right up my With Jack Pop <laughs> Records. And, uh, you know, out in Kansas City, Kansas, Wyandotte County, 27th and Waverly. And then the next album was uh, Owner Cash, you know, uh, with Bayway Records. Okay. You know, isolated in the game. I know Bayway. You know, mm-hmm. exact. And, um, you know, Big Eddie, you know. And then the third album, I would say, was uh, Prime Examples. Okay. Yeah, also with Bayway Records, exact entertainment. And, um, you know, that featured, you know, some hometown hitters, you know, like Andre Nicotina, mm-hmm. San Quinn, Demo, and, you know, JT the Bigger Fan. Oh, yeah, definitely mm-hmm. some of my favorites. Um, I interviewed JT, but it was via phone uh, about a couple years ago. Right. Super, I mean, I'm a super fan of Get Low Players. Like, that was what I initially was introduced to when I came here from Texas. Mm-hmm. Bushy Mo. Quinn, uh, JT, mm-hmm. so Demo. So for you to say all those names, it's like this brings me right back home again. Like mm-hmm. some of my tattoos are that's for RBL. Like that's how deep I'm tied into oh, this this old school shit. You know, some peace, Mr. C. Right, but there is really no music like that anymore. Like that right. is an original era, and it will never be anything like that era. So mm-hmm. I like that. I like that. That's part of your um, features C- and influence. See minute in history. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. It's definitely definitely dope um as far as production um studio do you have a specific way that you go about your st- studio sessions do you write are you a freestyler what what how do you no, just I'm some a, insight i'm a writer okay you know because i'm in tune you know with my soul so i like things to come from the inside out right and um you know and i like to be strategic about what i'm doing because uh talent you got to know how to mix it with business right and um so you know uh i got a unique way so i use that god-given gift to um use that uniqueness in the way he 
A lot you of know, people don't realize that that unique shit is definitely your ticket. Like, mm -hmm. that's what you're supposed to grasp onto yeah. and nurture yeah. is being different. We were just talking about that. Being different, being unique. Mm -hmm. um, it makes you stand out. And right. the, like the guys that were just in here said, if you're not weird, you're weird, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I agree with that 100%. Um, I see B Mike is tuned in. What up, sir? What's um, going on, B? So, how did you get involved with um, Good Life Entertainment and how did you meet B Mike? So is Good Life your label? Yes, okay. Good Life Entertainment, GNM, is um, my label. And uh, it came at a point in time in me and my wife's life, you know, uh, things started to get better. Uh, we started to graduate uh, spiritually and physically, and um, things started to uh, change in our life. And so we looked at each other, and we, we've been together so long, so we was like, we're going to make this change. You know what I'm saying? We got to do it. For the man upstairs, we got to do it good because he didn't let us, allowed us to do everything we got to do. Now it's the, your turn. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, you know, so we got, it's good life entertainment. We got to uh, stand on that frequency, that energy, and um, and that's what we got to give. You know what I'm saying? And uh, promote life and, uh, you know, uh, dedication and, and consistency. And, um, you know, it's coming from the, it's coming from the soul. So, you know, that's what's in our hearts, and uh, that's what fill our minds. That's what uh, sends the messages to the tongues to come out. Right. And, um, you know, so it's going to be good. Yeah. And it's going to be all the way good, just like it was intended to be. And definitely NAP. genuine, right. Because right. right. a lot right. of people, they um, don't have positivity, you know, going around inside and on the outside of their mm -hmm. lives today. So with Good Life Entertainment, what we offer to the universe is just some positivity where you can make it throughout whatever struggles that you may have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. growing up or even now today in the present. You know, Good Life is here to just set the example of two OGs that came from the hood, came from the street, came from that lifestyle. You can make that it turned out. It around and, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and started something positive. But not only themselves, but everybody that's connected to my family and to me and to Deco. So generational, yes, yes absolutely. Yeah, well, I, I applaud y'all for that. Mm -hmm. Super great message. Um, even when they, even when people do wrong, you still got to be open arms, and you still got to give them the truth, and you got to let them know. You know, that's just how it go. You know, if you gonna keep it real, you know what I'm saying. When you're going through things, when things get rough and tough. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be right all the time. You right. got to be that shoulder to lean on and say, it's okay, we're going to make this shit better. Right. Don't trip. Everybody well, needs somebody. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I have yeah. found, and I tell people this all the time, the high road is way less crowded, and there's a lot less stress up there. So even though someone may do you wrong, it is definitely the bigger person to be, to just excuse it. You know, walk past it. Leave it alone, move along, because your blessings right. are going to catch you yes, if you yeah. do that versus nitpicking and, you know, arguing like nobody has right. time for all that stuff. Right. Life is too short. And if it's good, it's really too short. Right. That Man. part. Um, so let's let them hear a song. What song do you guys want to play first? OK, we're going to go with uh, Better Than That. You know, that's a song we selected because you got to be bigger and you got to be better than everything that's coming against you and everything, you know what I'm saying, to make it to where you know you're supposed to be with yourself and in this life we live in. So, you know, we better than that. And better than that is Deco D featuring AP, APs? APs yes. from the block. From the, the block. the thing about better than that is is that no matter what someone do to you, you got to mm -hmm. always look at yourself better than that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You can be counted out, left for dead, but as long as you can reach up and look up mm -hmm. and tell the man that's going to help you, that you better than that, you're going to show the world. Absolutely. I'm better than that. I feel you on that. That's a real statement. For real. That's a real statement. So let's run that in. We got DJ Eddie Z in the building and Eddie DJ Z. Justin in the building. We also have 916 Sackboy here shooting for us today. So much love, 360 Radio. This is um, Good Life Entertainment. Let's hear it. That's definitely radio. like a um that's an anthem right there. That's a better than Thank that. You. A lot of people need to be knowing what it is and singing it. Like I appreciate it. 
putting those words out into the world because you are better than that. You are. And the more you say it, the more it comes. I try to tell people that manifestation words are so powerful because mm-hmm. I uh, took my life and I took it from a negative probably uh, 20 years ago and I flipped it mm-hmm. on its side. And it's like as soon as I flipped it from an constantly complaining, constantly tripping to being at peace with what I am at, where I'm at, what I have, where I'm headed, it changed immensely. Like my whole landscape changed. Right. And that's how I know it's it's a real thing. Like manifestation words are a real thing. Please, y'all. I haven't even had to tell anybody about the big little jar tonight because both of my artists in here tonight know how to use words. Mm-hmm. But just so you guys know the concept behind this, this is um, the big little jar. And we made this because sometimes artists will come in and say, um i did i dropped a little ep or i you know this little video shoot and it's like nothing you do is little Mm. Mm -mm. everything you do has to be big so if you say anything you do is little i'm taxing your ass come on you got to put it in the jar that's right because and that's why there's so much money in there because we all do it like some most of that's mine because you do stay things and you inadvertently minimize your your work Mm-hmm. And I think that that's just important for people to understand that you, uh, whatever you're talking about is what you're living. That's what you're that's walking. Right. So make sure you talk correctly. Um, right. Better than that. Who did the beat on that, y'all? Uh, that was uh, Nostromental. He's from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Nice. You know, real young guy, uh, smart, doing the right thing yes. for himself, you know, going to work taking care of his family Mm -hmm. and things like that so you know we seen his drive and we seen his love and uh consistency with what he's trying to do artistically as a producer right so you know uh that was a good place to uh you know put some money into him and uh you know give him a chance and uh i just we are we display our talents you know on his, um, you know, musical genius, genius, right? And, um, win, win. Yeah, yeah. So you know, <laughs> get him out there, got him on the radio, you know. So definitely a win, win. You know, you know, in life you have to give people a chance. You know, yeah. some people um Let don't have that push. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. And me being a mother of four, you know, um. I got brothers, I got sisters, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And growing up, we didn't have that motivation like today's world we in. Right. It's somebody out there that can push you to your greatness. Right. And I believe in that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when he came to us and gave us the beats, I was like, Mm -hmm. okay. There's a reason this is happening. Yeah. I say, Mm -hmm. God don't make mistakes. This boy right here is fire. Right. So, yeah, yeah, I agree. You got to give them their flowers while they live in so it can keep them up. And you do got to give people chances because I do see a lot of artists that are clamoring toward the people who are making the beats that are made for the more popular or more popping tracks, you know. But at the same time, those producers had to be discovered by someone at some point in time and someone had to give them a chance right. so that producer is just around the corner you know like that you, by giving that person the chance you may have catapulted his career in a whole different trajectory than what it was before so mm-hmm. i see i like how y'all are how what your perspective is on it mm-hmm. is really all about helping others and that's what this platform is about um, is to highlight independent artists, highlight people that may not be on the um, main scene and get them out there. And and that is what I do. Like, that's what I was put here to do. Yeah. So I love to be yeah. able to do that. And shout out to my team because they, they come right. here with me every week and do this. And we've been doing it for you know, almost a decade at this radio station. So um, I want to give my flowers to my team tonight that's because right. that's the reason that we work, you know, is everybody works. So mm-hmm. it's definitely um, a group effort. Uh, as far as the Better Than That song, that's available online? Is that available to yes, buy? Yes, that's available online, Amazon. Uh, it's on, uh, I got the video. It's on Deco D Vivo. Okay. And, uh, you know, all the streaming platforms. And, um, yeah, that was a single we had did in Vegas uh, during Super Bowl oh, weekend. Oh, nice. I bet that was jumping. And, uh, yeah, we had a little Super Bowl party. Big, and, big uh, party. Yeah. <laughs> I know I jinxed you. Sorry. Well, it's cool. <laughs> and, uh, it's the good life. Hey. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a nice song. It, I wanted to have a more up-tempo. Right. Uh, you know, have a more faster rap pattern. 
and uh, just be more, you know, uh, artistic difference, you know, right. my uniqueness. And I can't forget, while I was saying all those names earlier, I can't forget to say Seth the Gaffler because he was definitely a yeah, big, uh, Yusuf was Seth. a big a big influence the on Gaffler, me yep. when I was young. Living lavish. So was Quinn, though. I mean, yeah. Tight Lace, and I know that by heart. Mm -hmm. So that was yeah. my, that's my shit. I love Live all that. Live and direct. Yes, that's my, that's my favorite. Yes, um, yes. So as far as the next song that we're going to listen to, I know that it has some singing involved. Did you always know that you could sing, or did, was that, how did you come? Hmm. upon that have you sung since you were little for me miss katie i was raised up in a church okay sounded i i could hear it in your background but i don't like to presume so i like mm -hmm. to ask first mm -hmm. i was raised up in the church um my grandmother made sure that i was there you know to to learn myself and to learn about the world in a spiritual way mm -hmm. and so like everybody you know that's human we sometimes set ourselves apart from our talent right. to mm -hmm. venture out into the world, and we sometimes forget Lose it, what yeah. God right. has put you out here to do. And for me, my voice has always been that one that was unique. Right. Yeah, beautiful. So, um, it is, it is. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget the first time I led a song in church. My grandmother... Um, just encouraged me, sing the song, sing the song. <laughs> so right then and there, I knew right then that I had a voice. Right, that was so, what you're here wow. for. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd love to let sung. the people hear that. Um, what's yeah. the name of the track? It's Feelings. Feelings, that's right. You yes. guys performed this at Harlow's yes. when I met you. Yep. Yeah. Feelings. Okay. Musical graduation. That's it. Feelings. Feelings. That's Feelings. right. Okay. Real music. And that music is as well available on streaming sites? Yes, yes. On Deco D G L E. You know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter X, it's all good. The official APs, number one. You know what I'm saying? We be posting. We keep them updated on all footage and everything, you know. Just trying to express and show and be that example of, you know, power coupleism. Right. And, uh, you know, showing people how to work together. Even through the good times and the bad times and back to the good. And uh, you got to be a, the rock. You got to be the foundation, you know. You got to do your manly duties, you know. And, and you got to encourage a woman on her, you know, womanly duties. Right. And when you fall off, she going to encourage you on your manly duties. And that's the power. And that, and that power can't be stopped. Absolutely. And for the women, it's like, you know, if you know you love them, you're gonna work through it all right you're gonna mm -hmm. you know it's not gonna be all good every day right mm -hmm. but if you love them you better keep them it comes with trials and tribulations yes, ma'am. Yeah. thank you absolutely and that's what a lot of young folk is run, running from you know just relationship wise period with situations and things going on in their life but you know when you always want to get things right you're gonna have to go in the mirror and take yeah. a look at yourself you know what I'm saying? Because that's where everything starts, is with yourself. Yes, so, you know, when you see yourself in a certain way, then the world is going to uh, come at you in a certain way. Right. Yes. It's, so, yeah, you know, it's all self, uh, self view. Yeah, it's self-inflicted blessings and the self-inflicted wounds. So to all my couples out there that's struggling, trying to keep hanging on to, mm -hmm. you know, something that you know you love, hey, just got to wait till God tell you different. Right. Yeah. Other than that, just stick with the situation you're in because a new one's going to always <laughs> right. be the same as the old mm -hmm. if you ain't got yourself no it's, help. Yeah, you got to fix right. the, You got to fix, fix yourself. On the inside. Absolutely. Yeah. And if they really love you, when you fall and hurt yourself, they going to heal you. That's part of their spiritual job. Mm -hmm. yes. And when she falls and she hurt herself in any type of situation that life throws at them, it's on you as a man to show her that, that what a real man is, and that's to heal her own up mm -hmm. and get it get her back to that blossoming rose, man. Well, and, and with that being said, I'll have to shout out my guy that got married yesterday. My old co-host, uh, Tappan, he got married yesterday. And he has a four-month-old daughter that that's they right. just had. So this is a guy who literally used to head the Sneaky Link podcast here on Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. No more Sneaky Link podcasts. <laughs> and that's how he met her was she watched the show. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and if you guys ever, if you ever wanted to okay. do a relationship podcast, you should. 
So if you've ever thought about okay. that, because you guys have a great energy and you have good advice. Okay. Not a lot of people do, you know, like a lot of people just talk down the side of their neck. Okay. You actually have lived it and yes. you know yeah. firsthand, okay. right? Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Dico, you're a smooth operator. I've Thank known that you. since Thank the minute you. I met you. Thank you. I okay? appreciate it. And Ms. the energy Katie. that y'all put out at the Harlow Thank show you. was in, unmatched. Okay. And okay. you're there amongst the legends like Selly Cell and Be Legit and yeah, Mac a, Mall. You that know? was a pleasure. Super dope, uh, super dope event. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get involved with B Mike? And then after that, we're going to make sure everybody has your logins and everything, how to find you. And then mm -hmm. we're going to uh, take some pictures. And we have Don P. from All Bay Music is in the building, too. Okay, Don P. It's mm -hmm. all good. Big Mikey, um, you know, we met him through BET Weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We he's like he's got a lot of, uh, and, he does um, a lot. He does a lot of work. Yes, yeah, hard work. He just man. had a lot of stuff going on, and I could just see that he was, you know, genuine about what he do. Mm -hmm. Right. And for me, that's what I look at in people. Mm -hmm. You know, how how you treat your job is how you're going to treat other people that come to your job. Right. So mm -hmm. with Big Mike, it was like he showed us something that we were looking for with no strings attached. Right. Right. And, you know, it's like say less and let's just show you. Yeah, genuine you know? interest. So he was genuine mm -hmm. with helping us get to that next level of Deco D's career. Mm -hmm. um, he introduced Deco D to some people that, you know, have been in the game for a long time and right. we respect his hustles mm -hmm. and he respect Deco D's hustle and when you respect each other, then you become a clique. Okay, yeah. got it. We work together. Um, let's let everybody know how to find you guys and then we'll take some pictures. Yes, yes. You can, It's Good Life Entertainment, G&M, that's Get Money, and um, it's G L E E N T. It's D O D G L E. It's D O D Vivo. D O D Spotify. Um, man, <laughs> D O D G L E TikTok. You know all streaming platforms. You know distribution. So y'all know where to look for it. But the most important thing is. It's what you're looking for. Right. And if you're looking for what we got and how it can feed you, you know, spiritually and mentally, you know what I'm saying, then you're going to go to Deco D and the official APs 1, you know what I'm saying, Good Life Entertainment, because we're pushing this good life and business. And, um, you know, you can get fed and uh, you can follow us and see what we got in store for y'all, you know, musically, movies, books, and etc right that mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. coming to a store near you <laughs> <laughs> well much love to y'all yeah. much yeah. love to GLE in the yes, building yes. and um, I see much success in the future please continue to send us the music um, continue to uh, follow the station and we'll make sure to reciprocate um, with each other and show opportunities I got them all day so we'll we'll have to start okay. talking about that much yeah. love and thanks I for making the drive give, um, shout out to, to my home team um, everybody that's that mm -hmm. that's with Good Life Entertainment, um, you know, we got we got a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we got a lot of people that we're leading. You know, number one couples are Netta Williams Lynn and her husband Ray Lynn. Mm -hmm. um, my Sex daughters, the Shanta, Shanada, Lashonda. You know, um, they my backbone. Okay. Um, and mm -hmm. then I have my nephew and my son, Dwayne and Levante. Um, everywhere you see us, the They'll people be there. I just named, mm -hmm. they're going to be right there. And so that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. That's us. how it should be. Real family. And then I have a fan, Miss mm -hmm. LaShawn Turner. That's right. She wants to follow us everywhere, so we give her the opportunity when we can. I do the same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why I was there that night. I was with Mac Mall. So he, he's got the okay. same kind of fan. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go out and let this next guest in. But again, mm -hmm. I want to thank you guys. Yes, Stay here because we're going to take some pictures.